Hello again, everyone. I wanted to give you an update on my everyday carry for my calendar and my bullet journal. This is sort of the notebook that I will carry all the time, and this is for 2021. So I'll put a link below to the original setup for 2021, where I originally came up with this new format or setup here. And you will notice that I am in a different notebook. So I, uh, in that, link that I have down below to that original video, you will see that I was originally in a speckled fonts. Uh, that speckled fonts notebook is, is a beautiful notebook, but when I started to chunk it up a little bit with, with some added things in the notebook, it just became too big for that particular notebook. Uh, the speckled fonts do run a little bit more narrow than a chic sparrow, which is what this is and uh, I just had to move back in. And part of it too is because I love this notebook so much, I was missing it, so I ended up moving back into this. So this is the Chic Sparrow Drummond in a B6 Slim with Cascade Pockets, which I'll show you when I get into here. And I also, because of moving back into this, I kind of gave up on the idea of combining my wallet with my everyday carry. So uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out a setup for my wallet, but I'm, I'm actually currently in something completely different than the last time I showed you all. So I think I will probably do a separate video on that, but not today. So this is really just focusing on this one. And as you can see, I have a lovely little wooden bead that is from this company, Summer Wind on Etsy. The beads are all beautiful. I really, really like this sort of bluish gray, uh, pink with red or deep red maroon combo. So um, it's, and it's a really cute little, little guy. I think, I don't know, I think this guy, I don't remember if he's a sparrow or not, but <laughs> I can't remember what kind of bird he is, but he's awfully cute. And and there's um, there's often not the, necessarily the same beads for sale every time. So if you go and look, that this one may not be there, but there will be a whole bunch of other ones. And sometimes the shop goes on break for a little while. I'll put a link below to the shop, but um, if they are on break, they will come back. So anyway, enough about the bead. Let's actually look at the inside of this notebook. So I love, love, love this color. This was a special, um, not necessarily a special edition, but it was sort of a limited run of an old leather. This used to be the burgundy leather in the Austin line or the Darcy line. It's called so many different things and there's been a lot of changes over at Chic Sparrow. So um, this is probably not going to be available for the foreseeable future. But I personally just love this color leather and I, um, I have a lot of notebooks in this leather and it's, it's, I think it's my favorite, especially with the matching stitching. I love it. So let's get into here. So with the Cascade Pockets here, I have some washi tape up here. I have an old swatch from my old watercolor setup so that I can remember what colors I had of it in it if I want to go back down to a smaller setup once we're done being quarantined in some way or another and um, we want to get that vaccine. So that's why I have that there and then these are my Edison cards which I go into a little bit more detail in the video that I have linked down below and I've just put them here because they fit perfectly. And then I have a little sticker here to remind me to slow down. It has a little bit more detail if you pull it out, but I leave it like that. And in this pocket here, what do I have? Oh, I have some receipts and things in here that I want to keep. And then I have this Nisa made cork wallet in the front because I really kind of like how that looks when you open it to the front that way. And then in here I have mostly coupon codes, discount cards, that sort of thing from pe things I've purchased in the past. What do I have in here now? I think that's just the same thing, but in little cards there. I did end up putting my cash in here just because I have not been using cash. So in my regular wallet, I've just been using credit card for the most part. So I put that in here with my migraine meds so that I can just have them in here just in case I need it. And then here is my, um, what, it, what essentially is, are the collections for my bullet journal uh, or in place of a, of a bullet journal. So I have put some little stickers on here and labeled it in the front. And then on the back, I also put a little rose sticker because I thought those were, looked kind of nice on there. And this has worked pretty well. 
I have only a few collections in here so far and I've kind of filled those out a little bit more, but I have plenty of pages left. This, um, I believe I got from Paper Penguin Co. This is a B6 Slim Tomoe River notebook with the old Tomoe River paper in it, which I've talked extensively about old versus new Tomoe River paper on the channel, so I won't go into that here. <laughs> and then I have switched my days, my Jaboon days, which is what I'm using as my calendar, and bullet journal, which I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, I've switched it back into its original little uh, folder because I wanted to preserve the spine of this uh, folder. So so I ha you can take it out here, you could just pull it out, but I left it in this little thing so that I can put the string down on just the cover. So the string doesn't actually go through the notebook itself, it just goes through the cover, and that way I can preserve the spine of the notebook, which I, I had had an, an issue with the Jaboon Techo that I was using last year. The spine about, you know, quarter of the way through the year started to have issues with the with, with it being on a string and essentially was putting too much stress on the spine. So in order to save the spine of the notebook, I decided to set it up that way. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't peek out too much and I, I'm okay with that. So, um, and plus I like the extra pockets that this gives me. So here I have my, my little doggy who I love so much, little Benny. I have him in the front and then I have a picture of me and my husband here. And then I have, you know, my Star Trek themed things. This sticker is one you will get if you watch Voyager. Their um, Captain Janeway is a big coffee fan. But anyway, my brother got me this one as a gift and I really like having it there in the front. And uh, it's nice to have all these additional pockets there. And then in the back, I will show you, I put some stamps here and then I have some, uh, some date sticker and some time stickers. I haven't really been using these, but I have them in here just in case. Uh, and here I have some double stick tape from for the Jaboon Techo Mini. And then in the pocket, I have some stickers to kind of embellish a little bit if I want. Oh, this is the uh, Jaboon Techo uh, zipper pocket that comes or that will fit in the, the mini, which is the B6 Slim. And that was another thing that was kind of nice to be able to put this in the cover because this back pocket is essentially meant to hold this. So then I have, again, this extra space. And then here in this little slot here, I have my stencils, which I haven't been using very much actually, and I'll show you why when I get into my um, actual Jaboon Days notebook here. I'm not using the pen loop, but I could if I wanted to use another pen. I have limited my setup to just one pen, and I'll show you why and how I'm using that. And then in the back, I have a little folder where I have some important documents in there. This is an A6 folder from uh, Hobonichi, I believe. And this came in a set of three, but I'm just using one right now and I'm trying to limit it so that this back pocket doesn't get too stressed. But it fits quite nicely in the back pocket and that's where I have my important papers. And I even could fit it here or put some other things here. This cover's great for having extra pockets. And as you can see, I have switched my fountain pen. I normally, for my fountain pen, I normally have a Lamy 2000 in here, which I still love, 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 and it's one of my favorite fountain pens. But this one has a finer nib, and I've been wanting to use a finer nib to get into the details of my calendar here. I was originally going to use a, uh, an erasable friction pen for the calendar, and I've just decided to let go of that. Um, if I have to cross things off, I'll cross things off. With the fountain pen, it's a much more enjoyable experience. This paper that is in the Jaboon Days works great with a fountain pen. I, I'm, I'm actually really liking how it works with the fountain pen. So I, um, I'm just limiting it to one pen, and that's a fountain pen, and it's this Twisby Diamond 580 in Prussian Blue. I think you can still get this color in some places, but I think it is a limited edition, so if you are interested in that, you would want to pick it up. And uh, so that's what I'm using now in the collections and in this, uh, this Jaboon notebook. It's the days. I, I, keep, <laughs> I keep messing it up. So I wanted to say that the Jaboon Days is working very well as a hybrid 
uh, bullet journal slash calendar. So basically all of my regular daily bullet journaling I'm doing in here. And then the only thing I'm keeping in this second notebook is the collections. So that may not mean too much to you if you're not familiar with bullet journaling. I would refer you back to the video that I linked where I went through this setup at the very beginning that will go into a little bit more detail and will also tell you, you know, some resources to learn more about bullet journaling. So here is, I'm not going to show you some things on this page, but uh, so here is essentially the general layout of the monthly calendar. So this notebook has a monthly calendar and then it has uh, pages for each day. And I really like having the tracker down here. Uh, I don't find that the boxes, which are a little bit more squished compared to the regular Jaboon Biz, which I was using before, uh, they're a little bit more, they're a little smaller, they're a little squished, and I find that it's plenty of room. You know, if I go over, that's fine. And here I've been putting uh, monthly tasks. I've been doing, I don't have any for February yet because I'm filming this at the end of January, but it's probably going to be a little while before you see this one. Um, so I don't have any monthly tasks yet, but I've been putting them here. And then when I go ahead and decide to do them on a particular day, I move them over into the daily pages, which works quite well, quite well. Oh my God. I don't know what that was. Okay. And so then down here with the tracker, what I'm tracking is migraine days. Cause I do get quite a few migraines, which, uh, they got bad again for a while. Um, things were really stressful and they're still stressful, but not as stressful. Um, so they've gotten a little better, which I'm happy about. I seem to be getting together my, uh, routine for that. And I just started Noom which is a weight loss program. Uh, I have gained a few pounds over the uh, quarantine slash pandemic. I actually, when I weighed myself, um, I thought I was a particular weight. Uh, and then when I weighed myself for the first day of that I was supposed to weigh myself for Noom, I had actually gained 10 pounds. So, <laughs> and now I've lost those 10 pounds in a little over two weeks, which I think is a great result. But, uh, but now I'm starting at the baseline that I thought I was at before. So, Hopefully it'll work. I think it's a pretty good program. Some things are a little silly about it. Um, you know, it's it's a little, there's a little bit of techie humor, which, you know, I don't find that funny, but <laughs> but I think the, the plan is pretty good if you ever want to sign up for it. Um, you know, if you have any questions about it, you can ask me and I'll, I'll answer when I can. So I'm tracking... Um, the uh my weight every day actually this is just to check off that i have weighed myself so i'm not actually putting my weight here but um i put my weight in the app and then i make sure that i'm doing that every day so i check that off here when i'm doing it my new lessons that i have every day i'm checking off the to make sure i do that some days i skip but usually i'm doing it every day and then uh, whether i'm doing yoga or a workout in the morning i check one or the other or both it's rare <laughs> that i will do both on a given day but uh, i'm keeping track of that as well so it's basically all health stuff and um it's been working well i put a little border here just because i had the stickers but you know i've decorated a few months with that and now I'll show you one of my days pages. This is one that I felt okay sharing. So this is from mid January. I have been um, putting tasks and little notes over here. This was a day that I got some uh, happy mail from Yoseka Stationery. So I put the little sticker from that here and some of the washi tape, which is kind of nice. I, I haven't been very consistent with it, but instead of doing the, the clock calendar, which, which, I tried it for a couple of days and it wasn't really working out for me. So I just decided to mark where um, I'm waking every day and where I'm going to sleep. So uh, so if I want to keep track of that, I, I have it here. And um, I was downloading TurboTax and then I have the weather up here, which is nice. I like keeping track of the weather. And then here I'm keeping track of mail that I'm going to be receiving on any particular day. So you can see I had some happy mail things that I received. And then uh, again, I, I'm not, I haven't been as good as ke at keeping track of the wake and sleep times just because sometimes I forget. Um, I ha I'm not as consistent as I was with the little, um, the little time stencil that I had in the Jaboon Biz. But you know, it's not really something that I, I feel like I have to 
keep track of every day. So it's not that big of a deal. So again, mail down on the bottom, and then I had my tasks for the day. When I finished them, I crossed them out. And actually, I did plan meals for the week that day, so I can cross that out too. I forgot to cross that off when I had it. And uh, it's just more tax stuff and meal planning. So that's that. Let me actually put, so I do have this blotter paper sheet in here. So whenever I write something with this, so it doesn't bleed over onto another page, it doesn't seem to have too much trouble, but just in case I put the blotter sheet there so that I can just close it right up. And this particular, well, as you can see on that page, uh, the fine nib that is on this pen works pretty well for the size of the grid here. The, uh, Lamy 2000 was just a little bit too broad to do that and I felt a little more comfortable putting it in with this, especially with the monthly calendar, just because it is smaller in smaller little um, windows. This one works a little better. Plus, like I said, I love, love, love this pen. The only issue is this pen doesn't post. I think when I'm traveling around, I probably will post the pen. I mean, it, it, posts, it posts, but it's very big, but I don't wanna lose the cap. Um, what was really nice about the Lamy 2000 is I always posted it, but with this one, I think if I am traveling around doing my bullet journal, I will post it just so that I don't lose it, but it makes it a little bit more unwieldy. But um, I love this pen. I love this pen and ink combo. I have um, all this Huxley from Organic Studio in here, and that ink and pen combo is perfect. It's like a perfect match. and. I love the color. And I love the blue and red combo. Blue and red is one of my favorite color combinations, so it looks really nice, in my opinion, on this dark red traveler's notebook. So that's it, that was an update. I Hopefully there wasn't too much duplication between this and the prior video. I just really wanted to give an update since I had changed it out. I am really, really sad that I could not end up using that speckled fawns uh, traveler's notebook it just every setup i've tried in it it just because i do tend to like a little bit of a chunk <laughs> in my notebooks and it just it, it was things were starting to stick out the end when i put anything extra in here basically as soon as i put the cover on the jaboon days to to protect my notebook spine uh it it no longer it no longer fit so i thought well maybe this is a sign that i should go back to my tried and true beloved B6 Slim in Chic Sparrow, and especially in this beautiful burgundy slash Drummond color. I really love it. Um, so it was kind of like coming home when coming over to this again, but I, <laughs> I generally swatch out, or swatch out, I generally switch out my notebooks quite a bit, but this is one that I haven't wanted to switch out of, and we'll see. This might be, this might be my setup for quite some time. I really do like the Jaboon days. I think if things um, progress as they have been in 2021, I will continue to use the Jaboon days next year, assuming they come out with it. I hope they do, because I really like combining my bullet journal with my calendar. And in theory, I really could take the collections out and put them somewhere else, but I, I like to have them in here in case I want to you know, jot down a restaurant to try, again, once we're all going back to restaurants, uh, or something of that nature. It's, it's lists like that that are in there, and uh, it's nice to have it as an everyday carry. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.